Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be going over whether Fedora 36 is really all that better and if it's actually what people say it is. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And give that notification a good old ring in the process. So you're probably wondering, well what do you mean Fedora 36? It's this new thing, it's so amazing and it's so much better. Is it? Is it really? Well, let's have a look. So, with the uh, new, with the new version of Fedora being Fedora 36, there's only been a couple changes that don't really justify all the fanfare that it has received. Fedora 36 now has additional Wayland support, so it's changed how uh, the desktop manager is, or just a couple changes, and that's it. Uh, with GNOME Display uh, Manager using Wayland by default, again, just changing how. The display looks that's it and then there's just been a couple of inbuilt programming languages languages and utilities that have changed such as ruby on rails is now at 7.0 django 4.0 php 8.1 postgre uh, sql 14 and podman 4. it's literally just back-end changes but while we're at it i may as well just entice the idea that oh this is suddenly new it's so much better so let's log in and have a look for ourselves. Now, I all I have done is I have installed it, and here we are. So let's begin by trying to update. So we want to go terminal, we want sudo dnf update. Password, and see what it's going to do. So that appears to be uh, getting some PyCharm, as well as just updating the main system. I've not yet updated it. Because I just thought, okay, we'll just go straight in and have a look. Fedora 36 is no different from Fedora 35. It's just a couple of back-end changes with a couple of programming languages, and that's it. It's just slightly different look and functionality of it. It's just a slightly different couple different updates to the back-end, and that's it. There's no whoop to do big changes. Oh my god, this is so much better. It's not. It's not. All this is is just a couple of changes in the background backgrounds to make things run just a smidge faster but nothing else there is no oh it's so amazing to prove that there's only been background changes we'll have a look at uh, this for example we'll go about and that's using gnome 42. that's the only difference between 35 and 36. and then again even 35 was using uh fedora was using GNOME 42. GNOME uh, 30 or 42. Nice. So, yeah, all this is just using a couple of different things. And that's it. It's just background update. There's nothing special. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing... There's nothing else. Uh, there's some... There's some changes to how things look and how things function. For example, uh, well, this is now done. Yes, well, I want to accept that. We'll just let that download in the background. But all this is done is just change how these icons look. That's it. Updating to GNOME 42 has just changed how contacts, uh, disk analyzer, wherever that is, which is here, disk uses analyzer, fonts, uh, to do. It's just so what. Well, I'll just read the list correctly. All this done is change disk usage analyzer, fonts to do, tour, calendar, clock, software, characters, contacts, weather, and calculator. That's all it's done. It's just changed a couple of how a couple of things look and just made it look a bit different. But that's it. There's literally nothing new. So there's not worth the fanfare that's gone into saying, oh my god, this is so much better. It's really not. So whilst we wait for that to finish updating, how about we have a look at some other things that have apparently caused a lot of fanfare. System-wide dark mode, apparently. So if we go back to my look at Ubuntu 22.04, and I said, oh look, it's just a couple of changes. There's now system-wide dark mode. Yeah, it's the same thing here because and I pretty, I'm pretty damn sure I said this in a previous video, in the Ubuntu video. 
it's just because of GNOME. This is it. There's no functionality changes. There's no big fanciness. It's just GNOME. The desktop manager, the desktop environment has changed. It's been updated, but that's it. It runs on the latest kernel now, runs on kernel 5.17, which is expected when you release a new operating system. Some dark mode and light mode wallpapers, they look decently okay. Like, yeah, they look alright. Like, it's nothing big or ooh about it, it's just... Yeah, there's also light mode variations of it, which do look nice. So dark, there's the light mode, and there's the dark mode. It's alright, actually. And again, if we go back to my my Ubuntu video, it's the same screenshot tool. All this has done is just changed how things work. It's just changed how things look. It's not, not changed how anything works. Really. It's just changed how things look, what it's doing, and how it functions with everything else. It's, it's no big change. It's not worth the big, oh my god, it's amazing. It's not. The only key difference, the only key thing, would be fixing upgradability issues in, in, in some cases. Like, that's it. Being able to update your, upgrade your system properly is good. So, yeah, that's, that's probably like the big major thing I would say was important when it's not. It's like there's nothing important about Fedora 36. It does not deserve its fanfare. But then again, that is just my opinion on the matter. There are many other like it, but this is my own. And I won't pull any punches. It's not worth the fanfare or the big excitement that's gone in it because there's nothing good that's come out of it. So this has just gone through and showing, showing what it's updated. It's just a laundry list of things because I've not yet updated it. So let's see if I can remember how to use Fedora. Oh, no. As you can see, I'm using uh, VMware. <laughs> a quick uh, oopsie there. So it was a pseudo DNF. Install NeoFetch. Let's see if I can remember how to uh, execute commands. Because again, it's been a while since I used Fedora. Last time I used Fedora is when I showed you how to install Wine on Fedora. Now, I could definitely be wrong because, again, I don't use Fedora enough. Yep, there we go. That's all it was. Okay, so regardless of that, there is like there's no fancy changes. There's no oh, this is gonna ch this is the change of Fedora. This makes it all so much better. It doesn't. There is nothing new. There is nothing crazy. It's just things look a slight a bit different, and things will carry on to stay looking a slight bit different. But that's it. Apparently, I dragged it to this desktop. So, if we come here, we just general task manager. There's nothing new here. This is the resources. This, oh, hang on. Yeah, so again, this is the exact same task manager system monitor you would have in Ubuntu because Ubuntu also uses GNOME 42. The only difference between Fedora and Ubuntu is the, is the code base. That is built on with, for example, with installing software on Ubuntu, it's just sudo apt get or sudo apt install or just it's apt. With this, it's DNF. That's it. There is nothing magical or crazy about it. It's just nothing. There is not the effort that has gone into the fanfare of making this is not worth it. I can understand that this is small incremental changes. But it does not deserve the fanfare that has gone into it. I stand by my words. I realise it may my words may be controversial, but I stand by it. We'll look we'll look at the fonts for, for example. Like, oh wow, fonts. It just actually looks decently okay, but let me guess if I go about fonts again, GNOME 42. That's it. That's all it is. GNOME 42. So Okay, let's, for argument's sake, drag in a font of our own. So we'll do sudo uh, yeah, install git to make sure it's not already installed. Oh yeah, that's why I told it to do something else and cancel it, so it's now stuck. 
this will be a um, bug that needs to be fixed or I need to calm down. So we'll just go with I calm down. Irregardless, let's just go and use Firefox. Uh, yeah, uh, it's 100th release of Firefox. So that's, that is pretty good, actually. So we're going to go hit git.com slash one slash Aldo. So while this takes an age to catch up, page not found. Oops, uh, apparently I. Oh, I, yeah, I need to change up to fonts because I, apparently I can't remember my own. So I just want to grab this and go, hey, look, I would like to download my own thing. And then just drag and drop it in. I said drag and drop it in, please. Okay, I guess not. Maybe another time. Yeah, anyway, this is literally just... This is just Fedora. There's no big changes. There's no reason for all this. Oh my god, it's so good. It's not. This is just Fedora. Slight bit different. Got another name to it. Uses GNOME 41.42.1. There's no reason for the big hullabaloo. It doesn't make no sense. Anyway... I'd like to thank you very much for watching. This has been Is Fedora is the fanfare around Fedora 32 or 36 really worth it? The answer is no. It is not worth it. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, hit that notification bell and give the like a good click in so you so I know you liked it and I can well, I use the likes and dislikes to figure out what to make next. So thank you very much for liking. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment, leaving your opinions and also asking for help if you need it. I'm all than happy to help whenever I receive a comment. Unfortunately, recently, uh, a lot of my comments from overseas, or not in uh, English, have been held for review because YouTube thinks they're spam when I know they're not. So sorry if your comment's not being answered. Blame YouTube. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching, should I say. I have been Nick. You have been amazing, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.